what's what's the guidelines again so pick 10 fragrances and then throw away the rest but they're mine and I paid for them they don't belong in the receptacle got the mind of a winner <laughs> You don't know the difference, see that hate up in your eyes, little buddy, what you sippin'? Oh, you think I'm out of bounds? Then go ahead, blow the whistle, I can't help but turn the heat up. Let them watch me sizzle, trying to figure me out, that's a complicated riddle. Got an outside game, and I still can work the middle. Oh, I'm about to blow the speakers, won't you crank it up? What is going on, all my frag heads and set heads? The champ is here, and I'm gonna tell you what's fragging. So today's video is a tag video that I was tagged in. My man... Fragman sent. Make sure you go over to his channel, check him out. But he told me to pick 10 fragrances and then throw away the rest. This was tough because I've never done a top 10 list. And just thinking about throwing away all my other stuff, it just doesn't sit well with me. However, I know it's just for play play. I get it. But it was just still tough. So what I did was I didn't judge this on the scents alone. This was actually done on memories. Like, when I look at them, they invoke a thought or a memory. You know, it brings me to a good place. So we're going to start off with the very first one, which is going to be Beverly Hills Polo Club Active. So I've done a review on this. You can go check it out. It's like one of my second reviews I've ever done. But the reason why I love this so much is that my daughter actually bought this on Father's Day for me. And it actually started everything. I only had, I think, one fragrance, which was Chrome Mazzaro. I used to collect. But then after I used them, I just didn't need them anymore. You know, or didn't want them anymore. So when she got me this, this started everything. I would spray myself, ch -ch -ch, I mean, douse myself in it, right? Just because it doesn't stay long. But... This is one that I will never get rid of. I have a bigger bottle too, which I carry in my gym bag. Yeah, but this is one I'll never get rid of. So I'm keeping this for life because it's sentimental, man. My daughter got it for me and it made me start collecting again. So I appreciate her and I just love this. The second one gets a lot of hate. Well, it did. I'm not too sure where it stands in Fragcom now, but every time I wear this, Either panties are being thrown to me or panties are being dropped. It's as simple as that. And I actually paid full retail for this. This is before I knew about, you know, the Fragrance Net and the Fragrance X and, you know, places like that we can go buy, you know, um, at discount. And that's going to be no other than Paco Rabanne 1 million. Ooh, that thing, look, ugh. all the smudge marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at the gold bar, though, you know. God, every time I wear this, it is a memory. It is an experience. The first time I brought this into the house, like I said, I paid retail for it. And I remember I went on Facebook maybe three months prior and I was like, you know, what's everyone's favorite cologne? And everybody was saying one million, right? So I actually went and got it. I was like, you know what? I smelt it. I said, oh my God, I got to have this. And then I start watching reviews and everybody hates it. You know, they say it's common, it's generic, it's played out. But I totally dis disagree with that because every time I wear this, a chick does not know what this is. Like she asked me 50 questions. What do you have on? Where did you get it? Why do you smell so good? You smell amazing. What do you have on today? I mean, it's question after question after question and compliment after compliment after compliment. Um, back to what I was saying, when I first brought this in the house, when I paid retail for it, my old lady sprayed it on herself, smelt it, and said, this is something I would wear myself. This is how phenomenal this thing is. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all must have forgot. <laughs> so number two on the list is One Million by Paco Rabanne. This one here is fairly new. However, this is one of those, you know, when you're a kid and you're doing like some window shopping and you always wanted that toy but you can never get it and then you finally get the money and then you're like I'm buying it that's how I felt with this and that's no other than Bulgari Manwood Essence God every time I would walk into Sephora 
I would spray this and just smell it and just think to myself, like, I want this bad boy. However, it was like 90 bucks, 80 bucks upon release. And then even online, it was like 75 bucks. So I waited till, you know, the price came down just a little bit. I had some funds left over and I just threw it in the cart, man. I said, you know what? Either I keep looking at it and keep wanting it or I can actually buy it. And I bought it. This is one I'm just keeping for life, man. You spray this on, this is juicy. Like, this is juicy, sexy. Oh, oh man. Y'all don't even know. Like, if you have this, you know what I'm talking about. This is just great. But I think this gets a lot of hate just like um, um, Victor and Rolf uh, Night Vision. Like, I love that one, too. But because they're flankers, a lot of people don't like flankers for some odd reason. But this bad boy, get your nose on this, man. You are you are going to love this. Promise me. The next one is going to be no other than Armani Stronger With You. Every time I wear this, experiences, man. It invokes a thought. <sighs> it reminds me of, I mean, happy hour. I worked for a company where we would always go to like these fancy restaurants, you know, and things like that. And I would wear this every time. And every time I wore this, everyone wanted to be around me. I mean, even just wearing it to happy hour, people would get close up on me, you know, and I would be the life of the party. Like this thing just brings memories, man. Like every time I wear this, I mean, even a softball game that I went to, my niece's softball game, like that was memorable. Because just sitting there, I can see everybody kind of looking around and like trying to start conversations with me. And it wasn't because my niece was actually good at playing the sport, but it was because they could smell me. You know, I mean, this thing, the projection on this. Oh, my God. And it's so sexy. It's elegant. It's class in a bottle. I look at it as. So that's Armani Stronger with you. The next one, and I'm just pulling things randomly here. The next one is going to be Bentley for Men and Tents. Another reason why I'm keeping this for life is that this is just grown man. Like, this is sitting in back of a Benz, smoking a Cuban cigar, drinking cognac with some incense going, and you're sitting on them leather seats, and when you get out, and you smell that guy who just got out that car, you smell this. This is a man of class. And it projects, like I said, this is just booze, incense, leather, grown man, Ben seats, Cuban cigars, cognac. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Every time I wore this too has been an experience. I mean, I used to wear this on Sundays to go watch my Minnesota Vikings play. And I think we won every game that I wore this, you know, but it just made me feel classy. Like I can put on a button up, you know, and go to a sports bar and kind of just chill and drink a, a, a mimosa, you know, feel good. Just sipping a mimosa, you know, grown man. Just like, <laughs> yeah, I know y'all smell that. Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's what I get from this bad boy. The next one. It's going to be one of the first cheapies I've bought. And it was a blind buy. And I'm so surprised that it smells so good. And that's going to be no other than Cuba Gold. <sighs> what can I say? People will say it's a Lamar clone. I don't think they smell the same at all. Like, I think they smell similar, but not the same. <sighs> It would be 120 degrees outside in Phoenix. I would literally get out the shower and spray myself with this thing to go to bed. I mean, you got to think about it too. The AC is going, you know, so I'm not really suffocating anyone. But I mean, I would wear this in the summertime just because I love the scent. I put a dent in there, if you can see. And then I like it too because it just reminds me of a cigar, you know. Oh, this is so great. Eight bucks? And you smell like a star. You smell like a sex symbol. Get this. Eight bucks, y'all. Now, granted, granted, granted. Sometimes it does remind me of a cleaner. Like, Fabuloso. Now, if you're on the West Coast, California, 
Phoenix, Washington, things like that. You know what I'm talking about because you got that Spanish background, that Mexican background. And you know every Mexican's house smells like this. <laughs> Pretty much. So yeah, the next one on my list is another cheapie that I just love. Like when I smell this, it's really like Christmas in a bottle. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking pine needles and candy canes and things like that. I'm thinking cinnamon. I'm thinking sugar. And that's no other than Perry Ellis 360 Red. And you can see I put a dent in this thing too. Hey, look, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I just can't get rid of this thing, man. Also, they said it's a clone, but I just love this. I don't have any performance issues from it. Also, every time I wore this, I have gotten compliments. Every single time. I remember there's times where she was just a total, you know, B word to me, right? Every time I would come down to her department, she would just kind of say like smart Alex stuff. Like, and no one could ever get her to laugh or anything like that. She was just a straight up B. But one day I walked by her and she goes, oh my God. And she said it real softly and quietly. And I turn around and I looked at her and she just smiles. And I'm like, okay, you know, I got a smile out of her. Do I continue the conversation or keep walking? So I kind of give her a look again, you know, that up and down, you know, turn my head and she goes, what do you have on? And I'm like, Perry Ellis 360, you know, she goes, oh, she goes, you smell so good. It smells like spices. So that's what I get. Spices. Ah, oh, this is so just great, man. What else can I say about this? It's Christmas in a bottle like cinnamon and spices and cloves and it's sweet and it's fresh. I mean, it's everything everything there was one time to where a lot of people say this thing has bad performance or doesn't project that's a lie i had people walk in and say oh my god i can smell you when i walked in or when people walk in they say what is that this thing is lovely y'all oh that is so good i wear this after the gym like the traveler size oh my god the next one this is like a and I put a dent in this too. I've done a, I haven't done a review on this, but it is mentioned in a couple other lists. But this is divine intervention for me, and that's why I'm picking this. And that's going to be Gucci Guilty Black. Long story short, once I started collecting fragrances, it was hard to find one that the old lady liked. But she told me she liked Gucci Guilty. Took her to Sephora had all the Gucci Guilties lined up, right? We're smelling them. She didn't like either one of those. So I walk into Sephora one day. This is like right before Christmas time. Um, walking to Sephora to get a new scent, right? I'm like, man, I want to be fly when we go out to the Christmas party. Walk in there. The sales rep who picked this out had the same name as my old lady. Even went to the same school. Divine intervention. So I picked this up, Right? wore it on new year's eve i wore this thing two days in a row you know why new year's eve and the day after was so lucky for me it was so fortunate for me because she loved it and just look at the dent i put in this thing i mean this thing is just awesome i mean this is coriander this is just green sexy ass paul bunyan if you're a grown-ass man and you like outdoors this is a modern take on it so that brings me to my next selections. Now it's kind of like in the same family. Most of you will call them clones, but that's gonna be no other than Davidoff Coolwater and Aspen by Cody. Aspen by Cody, sexy. Eight bucks? Bruh, hey, but besides Cuba Gold, what else is going to have you smelling sexy for eight bucks? You can pick this up at the dollar store, Dollar General, and people walk right on by it. This is sexy. Every time I smell this, I smell sex. <laughs> Not literally, but I'm saying when I wear this and I smell it on myself, I just think I'm the hottest thing in the room, boy. I've even had lawyers compliment me on this. I've had a chick tell me 
I smell very professional with this on. So, and I go crazy with this thing. Right after a shower, boom, 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 boom. Smells like you're on the slope, bro. Like you're on vacation, a winter vacation. And you're just having a great time and you're on top of the world. You're on top of the mountain. On top of a mountain. Fresh and clean. With a bad chick with a Chanel beanie on. You know, and a Chanel coat bomber jacket on. Like, that's what I get from this. Eight bucks? Uh. And then, of course, our man, Davidoff. So slept on. So underappreciated. I don't care if it's 2020 right now. This bad boy is still a banger. I can wear this after the shower. I can wear this going to work. I can wear this just lounging around the house. I can wear this on a date night. I can wear this spring, summer, fall. And it doesn't smell dated at all. And what I love most about this is that you get like that seaweed feel from it. I don't think I've heard anyone mention that. I mean, it is like green Irish tweed, but it's almost like seaweed too. Like once it starts to dry down, this is just great. Like this is like, you're literally at a lake and the breeze is just blowing, you know, that lake mist, that, that water mist into your nostrils. And you're just like, baby, I'm alive. This brings me to life. I promise you. So, the last one, unfortunately, I don't have in my collection because it is a cheapie. However, it was one of those when I'm going through my collections, I'm like, how do I not have it? And that's going to be no other than Curve Black. Curve Black, I used to wear <laughs> in my early 20s, right? Now, it smells like black ice, the air freshener you put in your car. That's what it smells like. But boy, I would go heavy on that thing. Thanksgiving parties, Christmas parties. It didn't matter. And every time I wore it, your boy got gifted. We mature. I got gifted. Every time I wore that and went to somebody's Christmas party, it didn't matter if it was the garage, <laughs> the bathroom, backseat, it didn't matter. Every time I wore it, I got gifted. Now, that was a young man, and black ice was new on the scene. That was hot. Everybody wanted their car to smell like black ice. But now, I think it would smell like harsh soap to me, you know, or it would just smell too much like, you know, the black ice. So, that's it. That's 10 fragrances that if I had to throw everything out, I would keep because, like I said, they just, you know, invoke memories. I mean, great memories, awesome memories. I am the champ, Frag had said, and I've told you what's fragging. Peace and blessings.